Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I'm now joined by 2015 NFL Draft Prospect, running back out of Oregon State, Teron Ward. Teron, thank you very much for taking some time this evening. How's it going? Doing well, thank you for having me. I gotta say, the pleasure is all mine, and uh, I'll just start off by throwing out the fact that you are the brother of the uh, Denver Broncos Pro Bowl safety, T.J. Ward, who of course went to the uh, University of Oregon. Now, coming out of high school, Tehran, I know you uh, had a really big senior year and was named the Bay Area News Group East Bay and MaxPreps.com Player of the Year. How did you decide to attend Oregon State and play for the Beavers, and what was your brother's reaction? <laughs> Uh, yeah, those academics were paid for me coming out of high school, um, but I wasn't highly recruited coming out of high school, probably because of my size or something, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm still, I'm still a question to this day. Hmm. But uh, Oregon State, Coach Riley was, uh, he saw my family, he liked me, and he gave me an opportunity to play at Oregon State, and I was really only, only the second year of my senior year, and he gave me an opportunity, so when I got the opportunity, I just ran with it, and uh, my brother was happy for me regardless of where I went. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, Teron, you actually had the opportunity to play right away. You're one of ten true freshmen to play that season, and you, and you actually had the opportunity to start three games. When you committed to OSU, did you have any idea that you would see the field as much as you did that first year of yours there? Well, I saw they had a guy named Jaquiz Rogers here, but he, was, he had a, a good three years before that, so we didn't know if he was going to come back for his senior year. So it was kind of, uh, if he comes back, we'll see if he doesn't. We have to play, so we weren't sure until he committed to the NFL. But uh, when he committed, you know, times of the essence, we had to get ready to play uh, Pac-12 football. So uh, it was a good experience for me. You guys, as a team, improved greatly. Finished the season nine and four, and took on Texas in the Alamo Bowl, where you guys uh, got off to a pretty hot start, but unfortunately, ending the game on the wrong side of the scoreboard. How were you guys able to turn it around so quickly from being a team well below five hundred to being a team the following season well above five hundred and playing in a bowl game? Uh, I think that's our leadership that year. We had some good seniors, uh, like Marcus Whedon, Jordan Porter. You know, we had some people that led us in the right direction. And, uh, you know, we just followed as a, as a young team. We were still pretty young. We didn't have too many seniors on that team. But, uh, you know, we just followed the lead, and uh, we worked hard in our offseason. You know, we got uh, some games, some close games with W's that could have been L's, but we turned around and make them W's. So, uh, you know, we just fought through that, fought through those games, those tough games, and, uh, you know, followed the leadership that we had. And as a junior in 2013, Tron, you showed quite a lot. You shared the starting spot with uh, Storm Woods, and you, you led the team with over 500 yards rushing and five touchdowns. You also showed that you could catch the ball out of the backfield if needed. You actually hauled in 34 receptions for three more touchdowns. Uh, can you just tell us how important it is for a running back to be able to do both run the football and, when needed, catch the football out of the backfield? Uh, I think that was, I mean, uh, for today's game, I think that is both. Well, both parts are a big part of the game in, in the NFL because, you know, the NFL is going to a lot air and out, so you got to have another weapon on the offense. And being a running back, it goes with the same position. you got to be able to run the ball and uh, run physical. So I think and it is not those two, it's the, the third, the third uh, element of running back being able to block. So to have those three elements, I think, is big in today's game. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, of course that 2013 season, you guys finished seven and six, defeated Boise State in the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, with that being said, what were both your individual and team expectations for this past season, knowing that it'll be your final go around at the college level? You know, we, we had a lot of teams on this, on this last year team. Uh, we worked really hard in the off season. We came in with a lot of confidence, but we, we knew we had a we graduated pretty much our whole offensive line the previous previous year. All on the line, which is hard for us. And just like in that uh, 2012, the 2012 year where we won some of those tough games, this last season we didn't win. We lost some of those, those close games, which could have turned the season 
you know, vice versa. So, uh, you know, we had good players on our team and a uh, good team camaraderie, but we just didn't win those tough games that we thought we should have won. Mm-hmm. And it was a career year out of you, really, Teron. Uh, you and Storm Woods continue to be an effective uh, duo out of the backfield. You were able to run for about 720 yards and 10 touchdowns. You continued to show that you were a reliable receiver out of the backfield as you caught 29 passes for about 230 yards. Uh, now, I just finished talking to one of your teammates, Steve Nelson, and like I told him, uh, you guys started out the season very hot. I mean, you guys were 3-0 and after those first three games, and then, like you mentioned, uh, there, there was just some games that you guys just couldn't uh, pull out uh so so you guys finished the year five and seven with that being said though how would you describe not only this past season but your overall college football experience with the oregon state beavers uh to put it in the kind of a cliche but the game is a a game of inches you know one play here to win a game two plays here to lose a game so i think just learning that from a from an aspect of one step one way you can lose a game i think i take every Everything I do into consideration that it's can possibly win or lose a game and, you know, it can change the season. And, you know, when you're not with that rhythm of winning games, you know, things start to flow. And it's the same way when you start losing games. When you lose consecutive games, just that negative energy starts to, to roll over and that's just, it can, it can ruin the season. So, uh, for my experience at Oregon State, you know, when you're high, stay, stay focused on the little things. And when you're low, stay focused on the little things because the little things have to be big things. Chris Shanfeld talking with 2015 NFL draft prospect, running back out of Oregon State, Teron Ward. And Teron, throughout your entire college football career, who would you say is the best or most impressive player you've had to play against? Uh, oh, that's hard. Um, you know, when we played Texas, that 2012 year, that DN, uh, Okafor, he was, he was a beast. He was a hard, hard to deal with. And then the... The, the DN from Stanford two years ago, I, I can't remember his name, but Murphy, yeah, Murphy from two years ago, he was a pretty tough player. So I think those are two two guys that are, you just, you know, freaks of nature that were just pretty hard to deal with. Well, hey, they're uh, playing at the next level, so, so you definitely cannot go wrong with either of those two guys. Now, if you had to single out one, uh, what's the biggest or most memorable play that you've made throughout these last uh, four years as a Beaver? Memorable play? Uh, Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'd say during that 2012 year, we played, uh, well, the, well, I guess Arizona State was kind of my breakout year, that 2012 year. I think I had like, over 50, 150 yards. But when we played Cal that same year, it was a wet and wet game, wet and windy game, and we had a lead in the fourth quarter. So we were just trying to run the clock out, and uh, we had like a dot right. And I must have broke at least seven or eight tackles on this run, and I'll have to look that one up. It sounds as if it was a beast mode Marshawn Lynch type run. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. There you go. Now, as you know, there are a handful of uh, former Oregon State Beavers that are currently in the NFL. Uh, as we mentioned, your brother, T.J. Ward, he's a safety for the Denver Broncos. Any chance that uh, any former Oregon State Beavers or even your brother, ha- have they given you any uh, advice as to what to expect during this draft process? Yeah, you know, I talk to my brother a lot. Um, and it's just, it's just a part of, of the unknown. You know, you have been the teams. But you never know what's going on in those in those uh, war rooms or what they're thinking. So just the process of being unknown and take this training process really serious because, you know, the 40 is really important. Your combine and your pro day is really important. And your body of work that you put on film is really important. So you don't have to have 32 teams that like you. All you need to have is one. And uh, that's what I've just been focused on, getting my body right and getting my mind and, you know, letting these, that one team find what they like about me. Absolutely, absolutely. Chris Shanfeld talking to 2015 NFL Draft prospect, running back out of Oregon State University, Teron Ward. And Teron, uh, we, we kind of talked a little bit about your ability to not only run out of the uh, backfield, but to be able to catch out of the backfield as well. Uh, that's something that definitely sticks out to me. What do you feel is your biggest strength as a running back? You know, I want to be a complete back. I want to be on first down to run the ball. I want to be on second and long to catch the ball. Back is my, my biggest asset as a running back, and I want to continue to grow on that. 
And how about a weakness? Is there anything specific that you'll be taking some time to improve on during the off season? You know, just staying up. You can never learn enough in this football game. So just studying up my, uh, me personally, what I, what, I, what I do, what I do well, what I do wrong. But uh, you know, the people from the outside are gonna say my height is a weakness, but you know, that's something I can't control. So I'm just gonna focus on the things I can't control, which are, uh, like you said, being a complete back, catching the ball in the backfield, blocking, you know, and uh, getting the cone work ready for my feet. Moving on, let's say there's an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. Why should he want running back out of Oregon State University to round Ward a part of his team? I mean, I think you're going to get a guy who runs football, you know, who's coachable. I think you're going to get a guy that uh, who's going to do anything possible to, to help his team win. And you're going to get a guy with a, with a tenacity and, and fierceness that uh, wants to win every time he gets out of the field. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're not going to have a problem from, from me and myself. Well, uh, hey, hey, man, uh, your your brother's team, the Denver Broncos, they might be looking for a running back. Of course, they still got Monty Ball, who they spent a second-round pick on. And, of course, we've seen a lot of uh, great stuff out of C.J. Anderson this past season. But, uh, actually, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you, you've never been able to play on the same team as your brother. I believe he's about, what, six, seven years older than you. Uh, can you even imagine uh, playing on the same team as your brother? <laughs> you know, uh, it's funny you said that. Uh, It'll be kind of weird because he's, you know, that older brother, that older brother uh, feeling you get when you're in the same room. You don't really want to talk a lot or say the wrong thing when you're around your older brother's friends. But when you're on the same team, you know, you got you to be who you are. So it'll be crazy if that happens. Uh, but if it did, it'll be okay. I would love to play against them. You know, we talk a lot of trash here and there. So to be able to play with them or against them would be great. <laughs> That's great to hear. Now, Teron, i got to think that scouts have been in and out of Oregon State to see you and some of your teammates. Uh, is there any chance that you've been able to speak with any, or do you have any idea what they might be saying about you? No, I haven't talked to any scouts. Uh, I don't think we're allowed to go to Steve or anything like that. So, uh, you know, they, they, they get a lot of, a lot of types of athletes on our team this year, and so there were a lot of scouts out there, but uh, we weren't able to talk to them. All right, all right. Chris Shanfell talking to 2015 NFL draft prospect, running back out of Oregon State, Teron Ward here on the CS Podcast. And uh, last but not least for you, Teron, here's a fun one to end the interview. Uh, what's something about yourself that many people may not know? Uh, I'm a huge keep it over the Kardashians fan. <laughs> oh, man. Huge. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And that is, I enjoy the show. It's, you know, it entertains to me the life they live. And right. The drama that goes into that show that's not really that big of drama. All right, all right. You, yeah, you, you enjoy the show, the the show, not not really the uh, the, the three females in the show or, or the three main females. Yeah, I enjoy the show. I enjoy the dramatic effect they bring to the show. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm definitely not going to ask any more about that, but uh, that's definitely uh, interesting to find out, Teron. But uh, like I said, that was my final question for you. Uh, I really do appreciate your time, man. It was fun chatting with you. I'm certainly wishing you nothing but the best throughout this process. Uh, you have anything else for us before I let you go? No, you guys, yes, everything you need. It was great to be on your show. I appreciate it. All right, well, uh, once again, thank you very much, Teron. Wishing you nothing but the best, and take care, all right? Thank you. Appreciate it.